Hello, in this video I'm going to show you what broad match modifiers are. Hello, my name is Ozair and thanks for joining in. In this video I'm going to show you what broad match modifier keywords are. Uh, broad match modifier is another uh, type of keyword which is a bit more uh, targeted than the broad match uh, keyword. So it helps us improve our click-through rate because it's not as broad as the broad match keyword, uh, hence the word uh, modifier. Now some people say it modified uh, broad match, some call it broad match modified or broad match modifier. Um, all three of them are the same. So you don't need to worry about uh, the different uh, names which they are called. Um, I tend to call it uh, the broad match modified. So if I refer to it uh, this way, then you know it's the same one. Okay, so to set up a broad match modifier, all you need to do is, let's say our keyword is wedding photographer London. You add a plus sign in front of each word. No spaces, just the space between the last alphabet of the last word and then the plus. So there is no space between the plus and the uh, photographer or that is an incorrect way of setting it up. So you you need to have no spaces between the plus and the first alphabet. So I've got my keyword as wedding photographer London. So what I'm telling Google that please show my ad as long as these three words are on someone's uh, search term query, no matter in which order they are, they just need to be part of that uh, key phrase. So when somebody puts in London wedding photographer, my ad can potentially trigger. Someone puts in wedding photographer in London, book a wedding photographer in London, cheap wedding photographer in London or reportage London wedding photographer or any um, a variation of the search term query. As long as these three words are on that key phrase, my ad can potentially trigger. So the benefits of broad match modifiers uh, it helps you increase your CTR which obviously will help in increasing your quality score reducing your uh, CPC and obviously increasing your ad rank. Um, I personally use broad match modifier a lot. Um, I tend not to use the broad match only because it's too broad. Um, you get lots of untargeted traffic but with the broad match modifiers uh, you get targeted and relevant traffic or visitors um, and you don't waste a lot of budget so less wastage of your budget because you are not showing your ads to uh, someone who is not interested in your uh, product or, or service. I would always say to test whether the broad match modifier is giving you the best results, um, phrase match or the exact match. So it's always best to run all three types of match types and see which ones are giving you the best results. But what this type of match, uh, match type gives me is to find out other relevant phrases which I may not have considered because now with a voice search everybody talks into their camera or into their smartphones 
or the computers or whichever device they are using. And we tend to say long phrases rather than just one or two words. So for example, how do I find a wedding photographer in London? So that's uh, quite a long uh, phrase. So you don't want to be uh, putting in such a long keyword in, in your campaigns. So even if you just put in the three uh, relevant uh, uh, or your seed keyword, it's going to trigger your um, ad. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be the first one to be notified when I upload other similar videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.